Hello and welcome to Treasure Maps 3. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. This is the third video in the Treasure Maps series, and we are looking at different ways to implement a mapping table. In the first post, uh, we looked at some ifs. In the second post, we looked at Power Query, and now we're going to look at Power Pivot and Pivot Tables. So just like before, we're trying to get some data translated through a map so that we can build a report. So what we'll do is we'll start by grabbing the data table. So we use Power Query uh, from Text CSV. If our data needed to be cleaned up, we could transform data. Our data looks fine, so we're going to load to. And here we're going to load to a connection-only query, and we're going to be sure to check this box, add this data to the data model. We click OK, and now we've retrieved that data table. Let's go ahead and get the map, and we're going to do the same thing. Uh, from text CSV, we browse to the map. We could apply any transformations. Our data looks fine, so we're going to load to. Here we're going to load to a connection-only query and add to the data model. Now that we've loaded our data and our map to the data model, we need to define the relationship. So what we'll do is we'll go to data, and we can either use this Manage Data Model button or Power Pivot, Manage, either way is fine. We're going to click Diagram View, and we're just going to relate these two tables through the Account ID column. So we're just going to click and drag, and we're going to be sure that this is lined up to the Account ID. And now that that relationship is created, we can use this as the source for our pivot table reports. So let's switch back to Excel and let's insert a pivot table. And we're going to use this workbooks data model and we're going to place the report in an existing worksheet. This is fine. Click OK. Now we'll create one pivot table for assets and another pivot table for liabilities and equity. So let's expand these. And what we want is sub, we want FS line and amount. All right, I'm going to right click, number format, number, no decimals, comma. And this is going to be for assets, so I need to hide equity, I need to hide liabilities. So I'm going to right click, filter, hide, right click, filter, and hide. All right, I need to change the order of these accounts, so I'm just going to click and drag. Okay, that looks fine. Um, and now some additional cosmetics that we can do. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the plus minus buttons. I'm going to turn off field headers. I'm going to replace this with a space. Um, I'm going to go to insert some blank rows. I'm going to turn on subtotals at the bottom. Um, I'm going to change the design gallery and I'm going to go with this one. Um, and actually I'll turn off column headers. Okay, cool. So this is actually looking pretty good. Um, and what I can do is I could build the uh, liabilities and equity pivot table from scratch, but since I already have one that looks pretty good, I'm just going to do a copy and paste. All right, so the updates here. Let's go ahead and extend all this stuff. And let's get rid of sub. And let's put in FS group like this. Let's right click and filter and hide assets. And now we're looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and change this order here. There. Yeah, and I think this looks pretty good. 266313, 266313. So that's another way to implement a mapping table. Remember, the mapping table helps us efficiently get from point A to point B because it provides the label translations so that Excel can automate um, all the steps in between. The nice thing about using Power Pivot and the data model and pivot tables is that it is really fully dynamic. So if there are updated um, rows in our data table, there's updated map, map mapping, um, all we need to do here is hit refresh all, uh, right click refresh, and since these are pivot tables, they're going to dynamically expand to include any new financial statement groups um, that come down in the future. Okay. Cool? All right. I hope this series was helpful. I hope it helps you implement uh, mapping tables um, to help you get efficiently from point A to point B. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.